hi guys welcome back to manda's kitchen today i'm going to make some brown stew fish i'm go right here i'm using sliced fish so i'm going to brown stew today this was washed in vinegar and lemon water and i'm going to mix up my seasoning and season them remember to like share Leave a comment no man and make me know what I want to prepare and don't forget to subscribe. This bowl I'm going to mix up my seasoning which is the fish seasoning all purpose and some black pepper. You mix up the amount of season based on the amount of fish that you're seasoning. So I'm going to mix them up in this bowl to make it easier. I just make one dip and rub. sure that all the seasoning is rubbed all over the fish I didn't add any salt because the Maggi seasoning is already salt so this is my second batch I finish seasoning my fish I'm going to let this rest until I finish cut up my seasoning here it is I'm cutting up my seasoning So guys, these are the seasoning that I'm going to use to cook down my fish. This is about a medium sized onion, some green sweet pepper, yellow pepper, scallion thyme, ginger, full cloves of garlic, a few seeds of pimento, and yellow and green scotch bonnet, and some tomatoes. I also have some of the seasoning that I use to season up the fish. I'm going to put it in there. In my pot here, I have a little piece of thyme, a little piece of green pepper and yellow pepper because I already cut up some pepper to down in the fish sauce. Um, I take a garlic crushed, so I'm heating my oil to fry my fish golden brown. Here's the color of the garlic change, so I'm going to now add my fish. Oil is well hot. I was trying to fry my fish in which I don't normally do. And you realize if the fish was sticking, one of my fish break up in pieces. So, you know, I have to go back to my little fry pot. Never feel me. Yeah. Finish frying the fish. This is the color you want it to dry. Fry very dry. And then you're going to cook it down. The so this is it. I will add the seasoning. Huh? I'm going to fry up this 
it have a white look so now we're going to add a little bit of paprika this is color we're going to add some soya sauce and some ketchup and we're going to tip a little vinegar in it just to cut the rawness just a little and I'm going to put some sugar, about a teaspoon of sugar and butter, carrots and this is the, the season that I had left of the season of the fish so I'm going to add it as well I was here wondering why the fire moves so lazy when we take a start the gas down so after I add the ketchup and I'll add the seasoning, let's see. I'm going to season now. You're going to put some salt and I'm going to add a little more all purpose to taste. You know, you don't want it fresh, you don't want to add too much sugar for it too sweet. So I'm adding some all purpose and some sugar. Salt. and you can taste and see if the taste is up to par this is the sauce I'm now going to add the fish and let it cook down for about 5 minutes because fish is not something that takes long to cook and remember it fry already so it's basically cook it was cooking it down in the sauce You want to put the fish underneath the seasoning. So while cooking down, you turn on your stove on medium heat or it is simmer. Look at that. So this is basically it. My brown stew sliced fish. I'm just going to cook this down for about five to ten minutes there about and I'm done coleslaw bongo rice and peas and fish this is why it will be soon be transformed into a community center